So, how have some global companies become truly global? Why do some companies merely survive and others thrive? Our next seminar comes from Mindshare, and here to introduce their guest speaker this afternoon, please welcome Nick Emery, CEO of Mindshare Worldwide. Um, it's a real pleasure to introduce Frederick to you today. I first met Frederick 18 months ago uh, in Borneo, such as the hardship of our jobs. Um, and two things immediately struck us. One, he's a terrifically engaging speaker, so you'll, I'm sure you'll have a great time listening to him. But two, he said that his next book was going to be about global companies and how, what is the definition of a global company in today's, in today's marketing world. So that's obviously a subject very close to Mindshare's heart in terms of the establishment and the cherishing of a global network. Uh, I'm very happy to be here. I'm very happy to launch my book here in, in Cannes. The title of the book is One World, One Company, and let me just start by saying it's a book I didn't want to write. I'm very happy I wrote it, but it's not a book, book that I wanted to write. And I'm going to soon tell you why, why I decided to, that I had to write it. But before I tell you more about the book and, uh, and the content and, and why we are launching it here in Cannes, I thought this is the creativity conference of the world. And what I usually write books about is creativity. For the last 12 years, I have only spent my time studying creativity, business creativity. The people who used to work in the creative fields have never been more important for business than they are right now, but maybe not only for marketing and advertising, but to get companies to change. And that's how I think that you, the people who are here should think. Because when the product and the service and the marketing and the co co communication with the customer all blur into one, it becomes more important to be creative, not less important. And the people who can do that are you. Because then we have the second question. Everyone says creativity is important. But then we have the second one. Do you think you are creative? Meaning, do you have this very important skill that you say that you need? And normally, 45% say yes. Meaning, that the majority of people in business do not say that they have this important skill. Here, everyone said yes. I knew this was going to happen. It always happens when you talk to advertising people and media people. It's extremely rare. It, this is the only industry where it happens. And it's good, to be cre it's good to have confidence. You cannot be a creative person unless you have confidence. Think about it. If everyone goes in this direction and you are going to go in that direction, you will not do that unless you are confident in yourself. But I thought we should learn something from Asia. I've been living in Asia for six years. There are also some cultural differences here, meaning if you go to the West and ask Northern Europe, do you think you are creative? About 60% say yes. You go to Southern Europe, Spain, Italy, France, 80% say yes. You go across the Atlantic to America, what happens? <laughs> Not 100, 95%. <laughs> A few weren't listening. That's what we can learn from the Asians. A Korean says, are you creative? No, not compared to the most creative person who has ever lived. <laughs> How does Americans and you think? Oh, am I creative? Hell yeah, compared to my brother. <laughs> and as the, North Koreans, as the North Koreans proved to us, just because someone thinks they are creative doesn't necessarily mean that they are. And I'm sorry, I'm not going to pick on Americans anymore. But if you go to America and you ask Americans, do you think you are good looking? 95% also say yes. <laughs> Just because you think you are something doesn't necessarily mean that you are. Because a truly creative person is a person who has confidence, but not too much. Because if everyone is going this direction, I'm going to go in this direction. Oh, wait, maybe I should go in this direction. A creative person is a doubter. He always doubts a little bit if I'm doing the right thing. To be humble is the best thing we can be as creative people, and you should learn to be a little bit more humble. Your brand becomes stronger, not weaker. Your company becomes flexible, not less flexible. You, everyone who works for your company, regardless of where they come, can suddenly get connected to the values of the company, not only the people who happen to have the same passport as the founder used to live in. Be a global company, be a global person. Thank you very much.